uh, giant covalent or structures that uh, go on forever they form a network or something known as a macromolecule macromolecular structures uh, two elements that do that one is carbon uh, because it's tetravalent it has four sites to to attach itself the other one is silicon which is the same format slightly bulkier than carbon silicon forms geology carbon forms biology or organic chemistry and life now we are going to look at some of those uh, giant structures allotropes are different physical forms for the element and carbon has possibility to produce diamond graphite or graphene silicon on other hand silicon itself uh, for your computer use and silicon dioxide which is the ingredient of glass or quartz so let's look at them briefly now allotropes of carbon if you look at a diamond uh, the structure is tetravalent uh, the hybridization we're not worried about this here in your new syllabus but it's sp3 and it goes on forever Therefore, since you have so many covalent bonds, it's extremely strong and has high melting point. The melting point is about 3600 degrees Celsius. It doesn't have any free moving particles, any electrons. Therefore, it's insulator and you cannot dissolve it in polar or nonpolar solvents. So that's what diamond is. Now, graphite that you have your, in your pencil lids are, are layers. They are sheets of six sided carbons. And they have a pi electron that is holding on to these uh, layers. Therefore, they can slip on each other and it can be used as a lubricant. That's why your pencil uh, puts a trace on paper and walks away. So you actually discard one layer as you're writing with. So it's layers. Uh, melting point, the same uh, because of the structure that is forever and delocalization is also high. It's even higher than diamond because of the delocalization. Now graphite on the other hand is a great conductor. It conducts electricity. You have to remember that because of the pi electron, because of delocalized pi electrons. Then graphene is another new structure that uh, was discovered by accident and now they're working on it. It's actually uh, two dimensional, it's flat, it's like a page and it's six sided, it goes on forever and then it's very strong, 100 times stronger than steel and also very light uh, material. Great conductor of electricity and heat. So the new discoveries will be, or new technology will come to life because of graphene soon. So graphene is giant structure, two dimensional rather. If we look at silicon dioxide, silicon dioxide might just tempt you to make a tiny molecule of silicon and two oxygen, that's not true. It's actually, uh, you will find one silicon being surrounded by four oxygen atoms. So this structure goes on forever and then it gives you a variety of quartz. Then we can also use it as ingredient to make glass. Has a very high melting point, 1710. Definitely lesser than half as much as diamond and graphite, but still is extremely high. It's insulator. As example, your glass is not conductor of electricity and it's a poor conductor of heat. It's non-soluble in polar solvents. Uh, that's why you can drink water in glass because it's made out of silicon dioxide, so it doesn't dissolve in it. So silicon dioxide being one of those that goes on forever. Then again, because of this notion of tetravalent and it can be surrounded by four oxygen and then it can go on to attach itself to other silicon.